Are you ready for a journey into the unknown? Let's explore the 1927 movie, The Unknown. In this film, you'll encounter a mix of funny, shocking, and sad moments that will keep you glued to the screen. As the story unfolds, witness a tale filled with suspense and mystery. One can't help but wonder if there's a specific scene or moment in this movie that has left a lasting impression. Maybe it's the unexpected twists or the gripping performances that stand out. Have you ever felt inspired or deeply moved by a movie? The Unknown has stuck with numerous viewers over the years. Whether it's the storyline or the characters, this film has the power to stay with audiences long after the credits roll. Share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this movie. Your unique perspective adds depth to the cinematic journey of The Unknown. So sit back, relax, and let the mysteries of the film unfold before your eyes. Get ready for an unforgettable cinematic experience filled with laughter, shock, and heartache. Lon Chaney delivers a compelling performance in The Unknown, portraying Alonzo, a circus performer with a unique twist, he has no arms. His adeptness at executing everyday tasks solely with his feet adds a layer of authenticity to his character, making the narrative more immersive for audiences. The story revolves around Alonzo's infatuation with Nanoen, another performer in the circus, played by Joan Crawford. Alonzo's concealed criminal past adds depth to the plot, creating tension as he navigates a love triangle involving Nanoen and another performer named Malabar. Director Todd Browning's penchant for unconventional storytelling is evident in this film, blending elements of horror and romance seamlessly. The climax, where Alonzo's desperate attempt to win Nanoen's affection tragically backfires, leaves a lasting impression on viewers. Cheney's portrayal of Alonzo's frustration and eventual demise is poignant, showcasing his talent for emotive performances. Crawford's debut at just 18 years old alongside Cheney is noteworthy, with her crediting him for guiding her in the craft of acting. Overall, The Unknown offers a unique cinematic experience, blending horror, romance, and tragedy in a captivating narrative that keeps audiences engaged until the final scene. The Unknown, a film from 1927, holds a significant place in cinematic history, listed in the 1001 Movies You Must See Before You Die, a compilation edited by Stephen J. Schneider. This silent film underwent a notable restoration in 2022, showcasing a recently discovered check print at the Pordenon Silent Film Festival. This restored version includes approximately 10 minutes of additional footage unveiling a scene between Nanoen and the fortune teller. Joan Crawford, famous for her role in the movie, also marked a milestone as Fred Astaire's first on-screen dance partner, sharing the screen in the 1933 film Dancing Lady. The 2022 restoration, revealing previously unseen scenes, adds depth to the narrative, enriching the viewing experience for audiences. Crawford's contribution to film history extends beyond this particular movie, making her a pivotal figure in film history. Astaire's early partnership with her adds an interesting layer to both actors' legacies. In conclusion, the film not only stands as a cinematic gem from 1927, but also benefits from the 2022 restoration, offering audiences a more comprehensive understanding of the narrative and characters. The Unknown is a film released in 1927. It features Joan Crawford in a notable role. After her friend Steven Spielberg achieved success, Joan sent him periodic notes of congratulations. The last one came two weeks before her death. Joan Crawford faced a troubling incident after being signed by MGM. Someone attempted to extort money from the studio by claiming they had a pornographic film featuring a young Crawford. However, the attempt failed when MGM pointed out they couldn't definitively prove the actress in the film was Crawford. This incident was mentioned in a couple of biographies. Interestingly, Joan Crawford is one of 14 Best Actress Oscar winners who did not accept their Academy Award in person. Crawford's win was for Mildred Pierce in 1945. Others who share this distinction include Catherine Hepburn, Claudette Colbert, Judy Holliday, Vivian Lee, Anna Moniani, Ingrid Bergman, Sophia Loren, Anne Bancroft, Patricia Neal, Elizabeth Taylor, Maggie Smith, Glenda Jackson, and Ellen Burstyn. The film The Unknown, which had long been elusive and circulated through murky 9-5 mem copies on the black market, resurfaced in 1968 when it was discovered by Henry Langlois and his team at the cinematic franchise among miscellaneous cans of film labeled Ellen Canoe. Archivist James Card recounted this discovery at a screening in March 1973 at the George Eastman House. Joan Crawford, known for her roles in the film, had a controversial personal life. 
Despite initially claiming her youngest daughters Kathy and Cindy were not twins, evidence later revealed they were indeed fraternal twins born on January 13, 1947. Crawford adopted them illegally from the Tennessee Children's Home Society director Georgia Tan, who had obtained them through nefarious means. Crawford, often pitted against her rival Betty Davis, shared several similarities with her. Both actresses experienced paternal abandonment, rose from poverty to success in the film industry during the late 1920s and early 1930s, faced financial exploitation by family members, won Oscars, identified as liberal Democrats and feminists, had multiple marriages, adopted children, and had daughters who criticized their parenting in books. These intriguing connections between the film's rediscovery, Crawford's personal life, and her relationship with Davis shed light on the complexities behind the scenes of the unknown. In 1927, a silent film titled The Unknown was released, featuring Lon Chaney in one of his most memorable roles. He was known for his ability to transform into various characters, and in this film, he played a man named Alonso who pretends to be armless to hide his identity. Apart from Charles Chaplin, Chaney was one of the last big stars of silent films to switch to talkies. In his first talkie, The Unholy Three, he amazed audiences by voicing five different characters, showcasing his impressive vocal skills. Paul Desmuke, who was born without arms, helped with some scenes in The Unknown, using his feet for tasks like smoking or playing a fiddle. This collaboration highlighted Desmuke's physical abilities and added authenticity to Chaney's performance. Joan Crawford, known for her role as Nanoen, a circus performer, also contributed to the film's appeal. She brought depth to her character, enhancing the overall quality of the movie. The Unknown remains an important part of film history, showcasing Cheney's talent and the innovative techniques used in silent films. It reflects the creativity and dedication of its cast and crew. The movie The Unknown came out in 1927 and starred Lon Chaney and Joan Crawford. Lon Chaney's original makeup kit from the film is kept at the Los Angeles Natural History Museum. It has things like foundation sticks, a hairbrush, a powder puff, and a glass I made for his role. They also have a life cast of his head used for testing makeup at the museum. Joan Crawford, who had a big part in the movie, adopted all her kids except Christopher Crawford when she wasn't married. Because of California laws, single people couldn't adopt there, so she had to look for agencies in the eastern United States. The agency that handled Christina's adoption was later found to be part of an illegal baby-selling operation. When Lon Chaney died, there were plans for him to be in movies like Dracula, directed by Todd Browning. But other actors ended up playing those roles, like Charles Bickford, John Gilbert, and Wallace Beery. Lon Chaney and Joan Crawford in The Unknown are still remembered today for their work in movies.